manual wheelchair requires the user to apply a lot of pressure, causing pain in their neck and shoulders. The aim of Project Hover Chair is to, is to make a customized, cost-effective wheelchair to help and support the, uh, the physically disabled and senior citizens lead an independent lifestyle. So the solution we proposed was to design a customized wheelchair which will be attached to a hover. Our aim is to develop and test a lightweight, portable, wearable and a non-transmitting device which is capable of fe sensing fetal movements over extended periods of time. While making the model, we made sure that we make place the sensors uh, accurately so the number of fetal movements are not missed. So this is our belt. So instead of the abdominal support, we, we used a maternity belt so it could be actually worn by patients. What happened will, if a baby kicks, for example, Pratik applies force, just similar to that of a baby does. So see, as you can see, uh, the meter has come to 8 as the baby when he kicks, he or she kicks, so the count will increase similar to that. Congratulations, fantastic presentation, great idea once again. No, so I had a similar question around uh, accuracy. Is there a scope for false positives also, you know, in this sort of... So the thing is that uh, the sensors that we are using, FSR sensors, are very stable. So I don't think we will have any false positives. Andhere mein reh reh kar thak gaye hai. These are the words of Sashila from Mahadev's Basti. Even after the implementation of government schemes such as the Deen Dayal Apadhyay Jyoti Yojana, a majority of people living in rural India still don't have access to light. Our aim is to upcycle discarded pet bottles as solar lamps for people living in the Bastis who are deprived of electricity. In order to implement our lamps in 400 houses, we required funding. Hence, we turned to the crowdfunding page called milab.org. Using it, we have successfully raised 1,38,580 rupees. Positivity, a team of six passionate individuals who have one thing in common. We can listen to the animals and talk to them. We visited the Sophie Memorial Animal Relief Trust, simply called the Smart and Posh Foundation. When we reached there, we realized that there's much more to what we had imagined. This made us realize that we should do something for them. Arushi, I'm glad that we were able to change lives of a few dogs like Elita. She's 10 months old and she was barely two when she lost both of her front paws in a railway accident. After all our hard work, we, we were finally able to create Delna's prosthetic limb and provide her with something which, which would help her to walk and run freely. Can you imagine a world with no sound? And even further, how would something like music feel? Would it even exist at that point? Being uh, enthusiastic mu musicians ourselves, Ranbir, Reva and I, Steve, wanted to explore the possibility of an alternative way of experiencing music. Enabling awareness of music, rhythmic perception uh, for the people who cannot hear, while also um, about the rhythmic concepts within music. It's almost like uh, music and virtual reality. I love the fact that this is great for private use because it needs to have to have input. But you gave an uh, example of imagine going to a concert where you know one person can hear it and the other person can feel it. I see that to be a real problem because uh, you need an input going into this device and at going at a concert they can't really provide that to you. So is there a thought process as to how you could do that part of it? Um, so right now what we're doing is we're using a Bluetooth for the device. Uh, we need to still uh, implement like a battery pack inside it so that it can be you know, self-sufficient. So you've thought that out. Yeah. Right? That yeah. needs to be your next one because I actually see this to having a, a, a product that can go commercial. It's a very interesting product. Well done.
90% of the plastic and trash polluting our oceans comes from just 10 rivers, according to the study by World Economic Forum. Out of the 10, two of them are in India, the Ganga and the Indus. They carry the second and the sixth highest amount of plastic to the oceans. So our solution is to build an ROV that would go uh, to the surface, subsurface and riverbed of the rivers to collect trash. So these two ballast tanks over here, they use these motors again to fill in and throw out water in order to provide us buoyancy. Water scarcity is a huge problem in today's world. And even though the government has launched certain initiatives such as the Jal Shakti Abhyan and the Guru Jal project, its implementation has not been widespread. Our aim is to conserve 100,000 litres of water in under 30 days. We created a simple mechanical setup which can be easily mounted. We have also installed four of our prototypes in the office of the police commissioner of Gurgaon. And today, I'm very proud to say that we have conserved over 40,000 litres of water in just 15 days. How much water did you save at Shivnada school? How much were you consuming here? It was right, uh, right uh, at the entrance gate. There's an arrow purifier there for the guards. So I guess their daily usage varies from 15 to 20 liters per day. 285 liters. So it's not across the school. It's been yes, done at not across one the location. Only one location okay. because our school majority, uh, majority of our wastewater goes to the STP plant because it's, again it's a big unit. So, but we're basically targeting the micro units where water is wasted because they when put together amount to a huge amount. I'm going to declare two and one. Uh, positivity comes in at number two and the winner is fluid force. First and foremost, I think just to Shiv Nader School for the fact that you've thought something like this out, implemented it and done it like this. Congratulations, a big hand. I'll tell you the difference. It never comes down to the practicality of what you do out here. You have the product, you go out there and test it in the required market. You get feedback from it, you improve on the product. You get so many months to do it. So I think this must be about the only school in the country that does something like that and that deserves a big hand. But when you see the stuff that I saw today, that the, the kind of work that you have done despite your school work, despite studies, sports, etc. It's so inspiring that the future is bright. You know, as a company, we, you know, we also fund startups, we do a lot of uh, investing outside. And uh, some of the stuff I saw here, frankly, you know, deserves to be invested in more than some of the startups we actually end up investing in outsides, right? So, so you know, if, uh, I don't know whether it's the right thing to say, but maybe some of you should be thinking of dropping out and starting your own companies at some point in time as well, right? But uh, thank you so much, it's been a pleasure and all the best to all of you going forward as well.